Well, good morning. How's everybody this morning? Happy Zen Veda Day. Uh, number 17, I believe. Out on my morning walk. Sun is just about um, to pop up over the horizon. It's a, still very quiet in the neighborhood, although the noises, the, the waking up noises are beginning to, to happen. Um, happy Monday, everybody. I did something this weekend that I haven't done for a while, and I ran two days in a row. And I know, I said I wasn't going to do that, and I did not plan on doing that. The reason why I did it was because, um, see, I ran on sun, uh, Saturday. That was my run day. Just under five miles. I think it was like 4.8, something like that. <clears throat> and then I uh, was going to walk yesterday. But just as I was getting ready, my eight-year-old son wanted to go with me. So I was going to pass that up. So he and I went out for a run walk. Imagine that. Hello, Mr. Sun. Uh, we did a, we started out at a one and a half minute run and a 30 second walk and I tried to slow it way down. Of course, he's eight years old. Took off like a bat out of hell. So I had to kind of rein him in and after about maybe a half a mile, it was obvious that I had to um, lower the ratio a little bit. So I lowered that down to um, a one minute run and a 30 second walk. And he and I did about one point six 1.7 miles together it was pretty cool so then after I um, dropped him back off at the house I decided to add a little bit more on I think I ended up doing three and a half total a lot of fun try that if you've not gone out with your kids um, do some sort of a very small run walk run and I'm telling you great stuff um, so I'm here today to um, answer a tag that um, my buddy um, James Daly over at the Seeker Podcast um, uh, gave to me the other day. And <clears throat> his question was something like, uh, give me some local uh, phrases, oddities, things that are said or done in your area of the country that perhaps were not done in other areas of the country. And when he started giving his examples that were all great ones, by the way, um, mine came to mind ex immediately. There's one here in Cincinnati that I have not seen anywhere else in the world. No, I've not been everywhere else in the world, but you know what I mean. And here it is. If you and I were conversing, we're talking together this morning, and you said something that I didn't quite hear. If I were from Cincinnati, I would not say, beg your pardon? I wouldn't say, what? I wouldn't say, say that again. Now, in the form of a question, I would simply say one word. I would look at you and say, please, please. It's in the form of a question. There's a question mark at the end of that. And it means, Please repeat yourself, but it's just the one word. I remember when I first moved here years and years ago. I've been here now for uh, 45 plus years. I thought that was so weird. I wanted to say, please what? But obviously after this amount of time, I do the same thing. So that's it. Um, it also got me thinking um, about some other areas of the country that I've lived in and some of the weird things they say. And it reminds me that um, one of our fellow Zen Vedaists, if that in fact is a word, um, Bethany Chan, she lives right now um, probably less than two miles, maybe a mile or so from where I lived. When I, when I lived in Minnesota, I lived in a tiny little suburb in um, uh, Minneapolis. And um, she lives in that same tiny little town. But I can recall when I lived there, um, there were a couple of things that I thought were funny. First of all, um, if you were going to, if my mom was going to go to the grocery store, she said, uh, hey, I'm heading out, I'm going to the grocery store. And I wanted to go along, I would say, can I go with? 
It's like half a sentence, isn't it? Two thirds of a sentence. Can I go with? Come on, Bethany, you know you do it. The other thing I remember quite clearly is that if, uh, <clears throat> if something very gross happened, I'm not being specific, just anything, anything that was just disgusting, there was a three letter term for that. Bethany, do you know what I'm gonna say? Ish, like I-S-H, ish. You know, oh, my buddy just went on the roller coaster and he just threw up. Oh, ish. Weird stuff, but funny. Anything. Anyway, that's all I got for today. Diet's going pretty well. I'm down about four pounds, which, um, which is good for me, you know? And what it tells me is, you know, right now, if I'm halfway through, a little over halfway through the month, and I wanted 10 pounds, I got uh, less than half of that. So I'm not really on goal, but... What it tells me is if I keep doing what I'm doing, it may not take a month, it may take two months, it may take three months, but I'll get it, you know? What I'm doing is working, just not at the pace that I was hoping for. So there you go, that's all I got. Happy Zen Veda, y'all enjoy your extra mile.